This podcast is proud to be part of the TalkSport Fan Network. TalkSport. Powered by fans. Ryan Reynolds here from Mint Mobile. You know, it's hard to believe that inflation is still a thing, but boy, it sure is. And that's exactly why Mint Mobile still gives you premium wireless for just $15 a month. Well, it's also because we have that offer printed on, like, a million t-shirts, but it's mostly the inflation thing. So give it a try at mintmobile.com slash switch. Upfront payment of $45 for three months required. New subscribers only. Renew for 12 months to lock in savings. Additional taxes, fees, and restrictions apply. See mintmobile.com. Right, let's get this show on the road. See you later, boss. Have a good one. Cheers, thanks, mate. Right. Welcome, and well, Bradford City have won two one. Aussie Debe scoring, and then somehow coming the villain by getting sent off, but no idea how he got sent off. Does anybody want to talk about anything? If anyone wants to say anything, put a request in, and we'll get this started. Uh, I'm flying solo today. Uh, so it might be a short one. Oh, we've got a request. Uh, should be connecting. Yeah, all right, Stan. I'm good, thanks. How are you? I'm buzzing, mate. I'm just coming out of the ground now. Excellent. And Osidebe, he wrote a villain. I don't know what he really got sent off for. Yeah, I was watching it on iFollow, and um, basically, I think their lads um, put a focus. He's, he's he's gone in, and then like when he's down on the ground, apparently pushed his head into the ground, and and had his basically um, taken taken exception to that, and gone rushing in. So um, as as always, it's always a retaliator. Um, although I suppose he wasn't directly involved, so it's probably white and straight. Yeah, Sorry, Kurt's so, just going past. <laughs> yeah. So, have you got any thoughts on the game? Um, yeah, for, from what I've seen, um, I think it's kind of continuing. It's kind of, uh, I mean, Brad is an absolute monster. In it. Right, he what? plays like two thirds of a game. And, uh, you know, he's up there as bad match. And, and I tell you what, the young lad as well. The, the young lad, uh, Freddie, was he? Name, so it's, uh, uh, is it Jeffers or Jeffers? Jefferson or Jeffers? Something like that, yeah. I pronounce it definitely. Like as well, so yeah, it's quite promising. Um, but yeah, I think some some good sort of performances. Uh, um, you know, Taylor didn't look too bad actually. I mean, he looked. Yeah, I still, I've been down the pecking you know, order, but he didn't look anywhere near as bad as he did against the ball. So. It seemed like he had lead in his boots though today, first ten minutes or so, it's, and his passing were a bit off from where I was. No, you, you're probably you're probably right because I kind of um, I sort of uh, missed it for the game because I kind of bit of work, but um, yeah, I mean, all it wasn't he that was basically caught chasing the guy when the ball came in for their goal as well, so. So who would you say you're, I know you only saw a bit, bit of the game, but who would you say, who was your man of the match? Who you saw? Or the, um, part of the game you saw? From, from what I've seen, again, Brad, he, he came on, he came on the pitch and he just, he, he, he he's, he's going forward. You know, he's, he's been a real threat. And he's been well and, uh, inside to uh, Smallwood, I think. So, my money, uh, Brad. I mean, again, when when they were kind of coming through, you know, a young lad of theirs who's got pace, and and he just gets back and just you know deals in. Yeah, I'd, I'd say Brad. What, what about yourself? I thought like Bobby Point again. He played well. Yeah. He went down the wings again. The team. I know when uh, even Kelly I was shocked when he scored. Ben, I want to on the best when he scored. Kelly first. But the I know it's most of it were like the B team, should we say? But yeah. every every player thought they did well. Uh, yeah. Shackles are off again and Paul McDonald's doing well, playing the team and picking the team. 
Yeah, for me, um, yeah, I think we need Kev the, big Kev on the field. I think he's too good a player to, <laughs> to be in the dugout just yet. But obviously, the way is, uh, you know, the way we're playing the last couple of games, whether it's again, just whether it's because of uh, the way it lifted off the players or whatever. But yeah, definitely. Um, you know, sort of, uh, and, and Wilson didn't look too bad as well. Um, so yeah, so I, I think because um, Grimsby weren't a bad side; they were sort of um, passing it about themselves, and you know, so sort of they were uh, playing some good passing moves. But um, you know, I, I felt the way we dealt with them, and um, I watched most of the second half as well, and about two thirds of the first half. So I, I think it's a deserved result. I don't know what anyone else thinks. Yeah, if anyone else wants to join, I'm also looking for a co-host for today only. Uh, so it'll be probably about a 30 minute one instead of a full hour one. So if anyone wants to do do co- co-host for me, that means I can I can start travelling home. If not, I'll be stuck in Grimsby for another 30 minutes. Does anyone else want to say anything? Have you got anything else to say, Stanley? Or Stan, sorry? Uh... Yeah, basically, um, well, not, not much, but um, really, other than it was, good, it was a good all round performance, I think. Like you say, we pretty much, I mean, I'm sure their team was like a mixed team as well, but I think um, I think it was definitely good, um, good performance by us. Um, I missed Paddy's door actually, I kind of came down sort of stairs five minutes into it. Um, yeah. You know, sort of not just this player, other than that, it was basically, you know, sort of interesting combo with um, Big Kevin forward um, in the middle. I think, obviously, like it's been said at the weekend, I think Smallwood must have had some sort of falling out or something with uh, Hughes. Um, over, you know, I'm, I'm sure there's many things he could have had a fallout with because it's been awful for most of this year, apart from a couple of games, but the last couple of games, it's sort of. Um, been rejuvenated, so again, that's like um, just a wear of his shoulders, uh, or just you know, just kind of whatever reason. But he does seem to have these last two games had a lot better game. Because I've retweeted the goal from uh, I can't remember his name, but it's like the Argentinian channel. I think I've oh, yeah, that. Latin American Bantam. That's it, yeah. And also, if anyone can see it, also I've, I've, tweet, I've tweeted out the, the video. Of uh, Ossie Davey, little dance he had on the go. Right, two seconds, see if this works. I'm going to plug you back into care. So, hopefully, you should be speaking out of the care. Can you still hear me? Yes, I can, yeah. Uh, minus the uh, the Grimsby uh, easterly wind sort of thing, yeah. Um, yeah, it's a lot better, is that? So what, what were your thoughts in, um, on the game? Your overall thoughts? Uh, so is it... Uh, so is it... I've just got Johnny... Is it Johnny Bray, sorry? Yeah, Johnny. So Johnny, we, yeah, sorry, Johnny. Yeah. So with the team, we played well. Uh, the V team played well, shall we say. We had a couple of first players in. Uh, Ossie Davey getting sent off. So I think he's possibly going to miss... He'll miss probably Saturday now, won't he? He's been sent off. Well, the commentary was saying that I think any kind of um, cards, red cards, um, apply to this competition alone, I think. From what they were saying, because be, I think Simon Parker answered um, Jamie Rayner on that one. So, yeah. Um, so I don't know the answer to that, but go ahead anyway. Sorry, uh, Johnny. So, do you think he would stick with the same? Uh, not this, not the team who played today, but the team who played last Saturday. Do you think he'll stick with the same team for that game? Um, that's a good question. I think. Um, 
I think obviously same sort of formation. I think it's something that for most part we've played with over the last two or three seasons anyway, because we played that with um, uh, Truman as well. Um, so I would say yes, um, probably. Um, obviously, so we had, yeah, I mean, he's obviously uh, kind of happy to play the youngsters. I mean, obviously Bobby's kind of come in and, and done that all season, but, but the young lad as well. Um, so I think that's kind of, I think it depends on on basically who's anywhere near the uh, you know sort of like the squad because I mean you know I'm, I'm kind of thinking well, what's happened to the lad from Norwich he, he must kind of I don't know how well he's training or whether he's not fitting into any kind of systems or whatever but I think he, he couldn't play today or Saturday because he's currently in America I think with the under twenty oh, right yeah right okay yeah that's that makes sense. Uh, but, oh sorry. Yeah, no, sorry, go ahead, that's cool. Uh, are you going to the game on Saturday or anything? Or where you no, the game no, um, I, I'm sort of, um, it's probably what I'm going to miss. Um, I've been to them all so far. Um, and, uh, yeah, just got a few things on at the weekend. But, um, yeah, I mean, because uh, from, from by all accounts, Wimbledon weren't great at the weekend anyway, so I thought we'd do well to get a point down there, but you know, maybe we should be kind of going for a win. Um, so I, I, I take it you're going. Yeah, I'm going. I'm taking a couple of mates down with me on the on the sat on the Saturday, uh, picking them up, and we're going to drive there. I've booked uh, booked a parking spot on someone's driveway for that. So I'm nice looking one. forward to that, and I'm glad we won today. And the crowd today were, as we were, the Bradford City fans were were good. Pretty, Got a few chants going and stuff, so the I think about 750 fans there all together, a bit par for an EFL game. But we've 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 won, I think we're second, we've got like two or three games in hand. Yeah, I think we took about 180. Um, I went I went to the Burton away last year, and uh, you know, that was obviously dire, but um, yeah, sort of kudos to the fans that went over tonight. Um, so, what's your thoughts for Saturday yourself? Would you play that same team as Saturday uh, as last Saturday, or would you? I would tweak, play, You know, I would play the same as Saturday. Uh, I think oh, did Ossie Davis play last Saturday? Or he on no, bench? I don't think. I don't. Do you know what? I, I'm not sure that he was even on the bench. He may have been, but I don't remember him playing. Um, he, he may have done. Did he come on late for? Um, for I think Sunday? He, I yeah, know. I think he came on late. It's like the. Like from my perspective today, the team who played today, completely B team. Even Doyle played. I thought, oh, he's yeah, seen everybody arrest. Yeah, I mean that's what we didn't do with Harry last year, were it that we we played him in every game, and I'm assuming to kind of keep a solid backline. But obviously, come the end of the season, when you're playing fifty odd games, you you run the risk of picking up injuries or losing a bit of form or just a bit of fatigue at the end of it. But um, yeah, I thought I thought Kelly did well actually. Um, you know, sort of uh, overall, his his kind of um, performance was solid. Um, and I thought I thought Oyegoki played well on Saturday, but I didn't think he played to that same level tonight. Um, He's gone off injured today, I think, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah, but I mean, sort of prior to prior to coming off injured. Um, I felt it wasn't maybe um, right back isn't the position for him, um, even though he's probably come come to us as a as a right back. But he did play better as a kind of right sided midfielder, sort of winger type thing on Saturday. I thought his actual um, his touches, his ball control, etc., and all the kind of like simple passes that he made on Saturday were much better. The best he's been all season. Um, in that sort of right-sided position. Um, but, um, yeah, tonight he kind of fell short of the standards he set on Saturday. But, you know, um, if he continues to sort of play anywhere near like he did on Saturday, then it'll be a good kind of squad player. But I don't think he's near the first team for me. I don't know what you think to that. There's a few of them, I think. It's like, I know Ash, I keep going on about it, but Ash Taylor today, he couldn't even pass. 
he went out of play, he went out of play twice or so, three or four times. Yeah, yeah. Do, do you know what? When I said I, when I said he played well, it's probably what I meant by that was that overall he wasn't a liability. <laughs> Maybe yeah. you know it's a low bar really, but um, yeah, yeah. He's kind of again. I think I think that's a signing that is kind of like a championship manager signing where it's basically. You know, sort of looking at stats and and not actually looking at the player because he, he's from from what I've seen, he's the sort of player that is kind of trying to pass balls through the channels or whatever, but doesn't have the actual uh, passing range, um, and and so the ball gets recycled quite a lot from his kind of forward, you know, sort of forward passes. But um, I thought overall he didn't do too badly, but. You know, I think he's he's definitely behind um, Platt and uh, Stubbs anyway in the pecking order. So, um, yeah, I think I don't know. I mean, I don't know what his future is. I mean, if he, you know, again, it's his first game since since the uh, first game of the season. So, you know, he might argue on his part that you know, sort of like he needs to play himself into into form. I don't know. Um, but it's a it's kind of a luxury it doesn't really have because obviously he's, he's down in the pecking order at least not in the sort of the first two so he probably have to has to rely on the uh, EFL trophy. Yeah, so I think that's what City are using the EFL trophy for really. Aren't they like the the B team? Yeah. So we say like Doyle playing, Kelly playing. It's obviously you have to keep your players fit and they've gone out there today and they've shown or they've shown passion and like passion and charisma and stuff by by playing well ish, like scoring like Ossie Dave coming on scoring, getting the or getting the winner, should we say, then last five minutes at game his head his head goes. And then by all accounts, because we were speaking to someone at the end of the game, that is push somebody and then smack the head against like the floor. And that's what's caused the big Punch up in the middle of the pitch, or at the end, far end of the pitch. Right. So it must have been like in the melee because prior to that, um, the incident was with, I think he was a Foker and uh, who got fouled, and the lad pushed his head into the floor, and um, then Paddy came rushing in, and then in that sort of melee, that's perhaps when um, he's he's done what he's done because um, it was difficult to see on on the. The TV, because obviously there's a kind of a, a big sort of scrum uh, of players, but um, obviously the fourth officials I think got involved in, in the lino because um, the referee seemed to consult them. So that's I can only you know sort of uh, speculate that's what's happened, but it, it was no ne- nowhere near the original incident. And their players obviously just got away with um, a yellow card, but technically if he's if that player has put his hand to the face or the head of a City player, even though he's on the floor, then, you know, given that, I'm guessing given the letter of the law, then that's a red as well, but I mean, you know, fortunately it's not kind of, and it's only the EFL, but you know, if you can't be having um, a player sent off, because obviously you need everybody available, so um, I'm assuming it was for violent conduct, because it was a straight red Mm. It's like it, in, it lightened the mood up, though. It gave the game a bit of an excitement because I'm not going to lie, I'm nearly falling asleep. Uh, how the team, the, the team played well. It's just like you sat there and think, this space was downloaded via spacesdown.com. Visit to download your spaces today. We need entertaining, having a couple of yawns, and then that happened, and it woke me up a little bit. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, I think Grimsby getting a bit frustrated at that point because. We we were in control, I feel, as well. I mean, to be fair, I didn't feel worried about the last sort of few minutes anyway. But, you know, at, at that point, we weren't as fluid because obviously we'd made so many changes. But I didn't feel like they were getting in behind us or that it was like um, an equaliser's looming or anything like that. It was just more a case of, yeah, just, just see the game out. So, um... Ryan Reynolds here from Mint Mobile. I don't know if you knew this, but anyone can get the same premium wireless for $15 a month plan that I've been enjoying. It's not just for celebrities. So do like I did and have one of your assistant's assistants switch you to Mint Mobile today. 
I'm told it's super easy to do at mintmobile.com slash switch. Upfront payment of $45 for three month plan equivalent to $15 per month required. New subscribers only. Renew for 12 months to lock in savings. Taxes and fees extra. Additional restrictions apply. See full terms at mintmobile.com. It is what it is, you know. And it was nice that, uh, I can never pronounce his name. I think he's it. El- Elsa or Elsa? Elsa? E- Issa, Abo Issa. Issa. Issa, yeah, yeah. He, he got a nice round of applause when he came past. So yeah, football, yeah. football's a bit like that sometimes, isn't it, where you get like City reject, but he got a, applause from the fans. Yeah, I mean, he never got to show what he could do for us because um, obviously he was injured for most part. So um, I think probably like a lot of players at, at this level, they'll you know they'll have their inconsistencies and that's why they're at this level. Um but yeah, I mean, it didn't do anything wrong for us, so there's no, there's no reason for him to no. uh, to get any stick from City fans. If anyone else wants to speak, just put a request in. Uh, if anyone's just joining, I'm flying solo today, uh, so I should be back to normal on Saturday, where we'll have another co-host. But if anyone wants to put a request in or say anything, you know what to do. You got any more thoughts on it, Stan? Um, not really. No, it's just like it, it's just the sort of an EFL game that's a good sort of run out for for like um, fringe players, really, and you know, give game time and and you know, it's it's actually good to kind of give the fringe players like four or five games in these sort of in these games, so that when it comes to first team football, they're they're kind of up to speed. Um, Parky was really good at that. He would kind of. Uh, you know, sort of shift players around or put in like players for like three, four games before like any major league games or anything. And he was quite good in that. So I, I imagine that's, um, you know, that's kind of uh, what was done there tonight. But um, in terms of who you'd like to see who as a manager, do you have any thoughts on that? I can never pronounce the names correctly. Uh, not the Crawley brothers, the other uh, brothers. Oh, the, yeah, the uh, the Cowley. Cowleys, that's it. Cowleys, yeah. Cowley brothers. Hope to get them in. Or Neil Warnock or Sam Allardyce, but yeah, I mean they're not. Yeah, um, I mean Warnock's not going to come to us. And um, yeah, to be honest, I said I don't care. I mean there are maybe one or two people I wouldn't go for, but um, I, I think I think what we've got to do though is get somebody in that. Um, we've got a squad of players that can actually play, and we've got to have a sim- we've got to have a continu- uh, like a continuation, um, because we did that with uh, when Rahic put in Collins and then you know assembles a squad of players that seemingly can play football. Then Hopkin comes in and then he's like hoofball, and he ain't got the squad for it. And then we go so back. So we go on back on Saturday. Yeah, do you think we'll have a new manager in, or do you think it'll still be Kevin? I think it'll still be, well, I mean, what was it, on Tuesday? I think it'll be Kev, but even if somebody comes in, probably, um, well, he'd probably give it to Truman on the sidelines, you know. Um, Yeah, I imagine it'll be after next week. Um, I don't know why I'm saying that, but, you know, I'm just going off of the, um, the hints that, or the, the the messages that's come out of Valley Parade that basically there's been a lot of candidates that have applied for it. Um, I just hope that, um, I mean, you hope every time that they make the correct decision, but I think they've got to think of the squad that's already here and somebody that will um, get the best out of them in terms of playing a style of football similar to what we do, but obviously, you know, uh, as as the fans are sort of calling out for, and everyone would like more attacking football, um, but yeah, utilising the squad we have got rather than kind of changing the style completely. So I don't know the answer, and uh, you know, do you go for somebody that's up and coming? Um, you know, the, the lad at Barrow has been mentioned, but um, from what I've seen, I mean, whether it's because he was at Barrow, but he seemed to have this thing that he they came to shut up shop. And um, maybe that might be because, you know, in their view, they like it's them against the world or whatever. But somebody that, you know, because obviously the criticism of Hughes was that he was 
playing too much from the back, etc., or just too, too boring football. But um, you've got to have somebody that can handle this pressure because obviously this is a bit of a poison chalice as, as managers go, uh, especially over the last few years. Um, so my view is I don't, I don't know, and I don't care for most part as long as the kind of there's a, a continuation and and actually getting out of the squad. You know the the potential. Um, yeah, that that's my thoughts on that one. Does anyone else want to request anything? Also, just to let everybody know, this space will go out onto podcasts like Spotify, Apple Music, and YouTube, and every other podcasting sites around. Uh, so if you miss it or you want to listen to it on the way back from a game or back next game, you can listen to it. Uh, so, has anyone else got anything to say? Anyone want to put a request in? Chris and Ian, Andy, Richard, Sam, Harvey. Anyone want to say anything? Make a request. Uh, what else? So, with the team today, who do you think? Do you think any one of them will start, or the bench? Any of the youth? Do you reckon will be on the bench on Saturday for Wimbledon? Um, from today's game, that were like fringe players. Yes. Um, I can't see it. I think the majority will be from last Saturday. Um, and then maybe, you know, because Taylor was on the bench on Saturday and I, and I think that's down to just having a, you know, sort of um, kind of like wiping the slate clean and, and giving everyone a chance. Um, but I, I suspect it's probably going to be most of, if not the same team as Saturday. I Have you got anything to add to it, Richard, sir? I was just going to mention about uh, Osadabi and sending off it's a, yeah, clear, it's a clear sending off. And there's people on Twitter in Meltdown saying it's not sending off. He's grabbing the lad round the throat. It's a clear sending off. It's as simple as that. It's idiotic behaviour. Two minutes to go in gear. I'm sure it was 88 or something like that. It's yeah. silly. Absolutely silly. He's a professional and he should be keeping his head. Um, and again, some City fans are on the other planet, I think, when they're watching stuff like this. Um Bizarre, but yeah, very, very silly. Um, but what I did like is McDonnell, he, he were on the pitch grabbing everyone back. Clearly, after an incident like that, all players are piling in, everyone's getting involved, and you could end up with two, three sending off. McDonnell's on the pitch, he's grabbing them all back. That's a, that's a leader, that is a, a, a someone who's got a sensible, mature head, and he's sorting them out and he's getting involved. And I, I thought it was good to see, to be honest. Um, going on about managers. Keep him going. If he wants it, keep it going. He's, he's doing what he's told to do. Win football games, two games, two wins. You know, we haven't. We keep going on about it. We haven't got the money. How much does it cost us to get rid of Hughes? No one knows that, and we, yeah, we'll no never. We, we'll never know. But we, you know, we we're never going to have any funds behind us, are we? You know, do we get someone else in? They change stuff round. It don't quite work, and we finish mid table. You know, we're not going to know about the finances, but it's not going to look good, is it? We're going to have to pay someone decent money. You know, just see how we get on. That's that's what I say. You can't do any. So you can't been, do any worse. Have you been watching the game on iFollow? Did you say sorry? I've, I've watched oh. it today. Yeah. On iFollow. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. What did you make of the, the make of the team in general today? I thought they did really well. I thought that the whole confidence around them, how they're carrying themselves at the minute, clearly Hughes is. Um, had a bad omen, didn't he? It didn't want working. The whole how they were doing day to day stuff. We're not there, are we? Day to day, but clearly it won't work. In whatever they're doing in training, and what's going on wasn't working. Um, and it's fresh face. He clearly liked McDonald. I think how they're playing for him. Um, and, and it's working, you know. So why change if it's not broke? Don't fix it. So sort of attitude and um. I appreciate if you get beat up next three games, we'll be saying you can't win, can you, with football? It's one of them, but 
there's also the other argument that if you leave it too long and you need to bring someone in, McDonald turns around and says, I, can't, I don't want to do it anymore. You know, I said I wasn't going to be a long-term manager. You've got to give someone enough time, haven't you? You can't someone bring someone in in January and expect them to get promoted, depending where we are in league. They want to, they need time to set in and do all their thing. So, so uh, yeah, it's a difficult decision. I wouldn't want to be their decision. But Ryan Sparks, whatever he does, he can't do what right, in my opinion. He'll get slagged off either way. So, two questions for you, Richard. Yeah. Uh, so, first of all, would any of the players who started today, would you let them start against AFC Wimbledon? And mm. the second question to you is, who would you like to take charge of Bradford City? Um, so in relation to players, then, I think it's going to be interesting in training, isn't it? Because they're hot on the heels now of the regulars who were playing for Hughes. And they're saying, well, we can, we can match you. We can play you know, we've gone to Grimsby and we've we've put out, put in a performance against another League Two side. So, to me, that's only a good thing. Good competition in squad. Uh, I don't know about specifics. I think they played well on Saturdays. Don't change it in the league personally. Uh, I think it went well, and they should stick to stick to that. But again, these people who can come off bench who've performed tonight, who um, have shown they've got something about them, and maybe give them more of an opportunity. Um, and manager wise, again, it's the same. What I say again, I'd just keep you know, if I'm Ryan Sparks tonight, I'm going to put it on ice and I'm going to keep McDonald there if he wants it. We don't know the conversations you have, and he might be saying, As soon as you get someone, I want I want out, you know, I want to, I don't want the responsibility, and then that's a different story. But if he's enjoying himself and it's working, keep it going a bit longer, see what happens. Like I say, he can't do no harm, and we're not paying someone silly money. Uh, and it, you know it may not be silly money, but you know what I mean. It's more wages, it's more money going out, isn't it? A team. I want to bring. A, you want to bring a, an assistant in. I want to bring a couple of coaches in. It's all going to cost money. And you know, if it don't work, we're all going to be sat here in February and March, whinging again, aren't we? That we're fourteenth and we're going nowhere. It's that deja vu cycle, isn't it? Where <laughs> we get a manager in. Everyone's like, oh, we're going to storm this league, we're going to smash it, bring players in, and then November time, January time, he's sacked. I think for me, Richard, um, big uh, in terms of the manager and in terms of uh, Big Kev, um, I think he's too important a player um, to, to for him to make a permanent move, as in like not play, and the, the fact that he wanted to speak. I mean, if he, if he can do it as a player manager, then... And yeah, just just keep with Big Kev, but um, I think he's one of our he's up there with our best players, and he's so influential on the field. But other than that, yeah, I mean, I'd be if he wanted to take it and it worked, I'd be happy for him to be uh, city manager. Any, anyone yeah. else? Anything to say? Sure. What are you, Rich? Do you want to add anything else? No, no, just. Finish off. I don't. This, it's an hard decision to make, isn't it, for for a manager to, you know, to. It, yeah, it's difficult. You got offers. You know, we, again, we don't know about finances. We don't know about the money. We don't know how much people are, are wanting, and it, it, it's such a difficult. And again, I'm glad I'm not making that decision. But like I say, just let's keep it going and keep it ticking over. Everyone's up. It, it, it was actually a pleasure to watch, and Saturday was a pleasure to watch, and 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 so was tonight. You know. Didn't really, I wasn't that interested, I'll be honest. I, can't, I think this cup's a complete waste of time. Um, but, um, you know, I thought football at times was quite good to watch. So, so yeah, all positive. So, if we get to Wembley, would you not be going then? Or would you go if we got to Wembley in the EFL trophy? <laughs> good question. Uh, I don't know. It's expensive doing it. <laughs> that, expensive, I think that, yeah. that would be the actual decider, you know, money. Um, if money was an object, yeah, you'd go for a day out, wouldn't you? But I wouldn't be struggling like you probably would for a promotion or something if that were my situation at the time. So I, I, I'll be honest, I wouldn't be overly fussed. Anything else to add, Stan? Um, no, not really. Just um, I think I think as well, just going on for Richard's point as well, and, and in terms of like uh, any potential managers and you don't know what sort of money they're asking for, I, I agree. And also, are there any kind of assurances or anything that, wherever they might be, that you know somebody might want to come in and make sort of demands? Um, it's a difficult one. I, I genuinely don't know who I want 
I, I would like to see us continue in the same vein in terms of uh, playing style of the last couple of games and um, obviously combine that with uh, winning football as well. But I, I wouldn't like us to change too much um, just because we've got a squad that is built to play in a certain way. And um, yeah, I, I'd, you know, there's no guarantee, you know, Derek, Derek's football was very functional and that's fine when you're winning, but when you're not, it's uh, it's awful. So, yeah, I think it's, there's got to be somebody that's got to continue, you know, a bit of continuation with the, with the way we've played over the last couple of games. It's like, as a City fan, I love, like, what we did on Saturday. The whole team played together. Small Woods were playing like a championship player. They were passing well. The team were passing well. We were attacking. Everyone were involved. And under Mark Hughes, we didn't even see that. I would say there were... There were games. Some some things happened over the summer, whether it was just a collective absolute um, from the coaches in playing staff, where it was just such a massive disappointment. And I don't feel that a lot of them have got over it. Um, and whether that's having to pick themselves up for, you know, kind of going off when the season was promising so much and... Or, or whatever, and and whether that's translated between a relationship with Hughes and the players, that that may well be the case. Um, but now it's it's like clean slate, and um, you know, just there's no excuses now. We've got a good enough squad, um, and you know, January, whoever comes in, January is going to be an interesting month because you know, do we uh, do we bring in like um, Ryan East back? Do we bring? Um, Timmy back or do we, you know, like Jake Young or whatever, um, it's difficult to say I mean that will depend on obviously how they kind of play between now and um, New Year, I mean from what I've heard that Ryan East is doing well at uh, Rochdale so um, I mean I'm a big fan of his anyway so that would be an interesting um, that would be an interesting team with like East and McDonald in midfield as well, I mean you've got options there and you know, you've got Gilead, you've got Smallwood seemingly um, hopefully back to his, you know, sort of like his best. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, really. Anyone else got anything to say? Say the last five minutes or so. I'm still currently outside Grimsby. Anyone else got anything? Uh, Joel, Ian, Chris, Andy, Nigel, Ben, Paul, Sam, got anything to say, guys? Any requests in? Uh, Richard or Stan, have you got any last words you want to say? Uh, sounds like I'm going to be uh, in, on the gallows. Um, no, no. Um, I think I've pretty much said everything there, really. Good performance tonight. Good was good result. Um, you can't beat winning, can you? So, even if it's in the Mickey Mouse Cup. So, yeah, looking forward to Saturday's game. You got any, any last words, Rich? I'll tell that as a new. Right. Thanks, everybody, for listening. And same again, where have you in the world? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Thank you for listening, everybody. And remember, you could view the podcast on your podcasting services and also on YouTube. Thank you and good night. Safe journey, John. This space was downloaded via spacesdown.com. Visit to download your spaces today. Hi, I'm Danny Pellegrino from the Everything Iconic podcast. And who doesn't love a classic burger from McDonald's? That's right. McDonald's classic burgers are hotter, juicier, and tastier than ever. The patties are cooked to juicy perfection. I love the cheese perfectly melted on top. I love the Big Mac that has a special sauce in every bite. I love the pillowy soft golden bun. So in the words of the Hamburglar, rubble, rubble. which I believe means grab McDonald's best burgers ever before Hamburglar does at a McDonald's near you. 
This podcast is proud to be part of the TalkSport Fan Network. TalkSport. Powered by fans.